Let's go to the question of this student. Cristiani and Renato, I have been watching your programs on TV. My question is the following. I am 62 years old and I am really disillusioned. I got married when I was really young. I was 17 at the time and we spent 20 years together and I was betrayed. On the second one, we spent 18 years together and it will be one year since we have divorced. But what is wrong with me? Will I still be happy in love? I want to be with someone, but I want to do everything right since the beginning to be blessed. Do you think that I will receive this grace? So, we understand how tiring it is for someone who, in her case, has gone through two long relationships, one of 20 years, another of 18 years, they ended in divorce. And the thought comes, the laziness comes to start all over, the thought of, will it work? Will I make the same mistake for the third time? We can understand that, and that's a fact. That is why humans were not made to have many relationships through their lives. But we were made to have one good relationship in life. Because it is much healthier and appropriate for a man and a woman to live in a stable, happy relationship. Because this will be good for physical, mental, emotional and spiritual health. And in the end of your life, as she is in her 60s, I'm not saying that she's dying, but she is in the final phase of her life. You don't need to be worried about restarting and problems all over again. At times we see news of celebrities who divorced at 60 and 70 years old. Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, at 80, carrying a baby in their arms. And we think, for goodness sake, they don't learn. What life is that? They were supposed to be stable, enjoying their great-grandchildren. Now, they have to dispute alimony in court with the ex. It's how the world operates. Humans were not made for that. It's much better for you to be in a long relationship, but at times it doesn't work. In reality, it's increasingly rare. So tiredness comes, as she says. About your question, first you say, what is wrong with me? I don't want to say that there's something wrong with you. On the first marriage, you were betrayed. Every marriage that ends brings a lesson. It's good for you who are watching our programs on the TV. You might be learning certain things and reflecting. And it's good for people who follow us and start to learn about intelligent love. And they say, if I had known back there what I'm learning today, I wouldn't have been wrong what I wouldn't have suffered so much and made others suffer. So we all can look back and think, I would have done things differently, but you won't be able to go back in the past. What you need to think is, first, don't give up, you don't need to give up, and give in to this laziness and frustration. Everyone has an opportunity to be happy in love, and you have this chance. So don't give up, don't keep reminding yourself of the bad moments and the negative losses you suffered. Indeed, in these two long relationships you had good things. And you need to remove the positive balance of this. What is good that you bring and the wrong, what are the lessons you learned? What you can avoid? So make a positive balance of all this is what you can do. Another thing is, you are divorced from this last relationship just for one year and you are 62 years old. 
and I felt a certain frustration, disbelief and tiredness in your voice. And I see that if you approach your next relationship in the emotional, spiritual and mental state that you are currently in, the chances of you making mistakes are great because you approach it as one wants to solve a problem definitely. I want to get married, be happy and spend the rest of my days with this person. I want to solve it quickly. I am 62 years old. If you approach like that, the chances of you getting it wrong are great. Not that you are alone. You need to be alone. For your lifetime, you didn't spend much time alone. And maybe you are basing your decisions on the need you have. You need to be alone. You need to learn to be well and happy alone. So that when you choose someone, that you may choose this person to add to your life and not someone who just feel a need. In other words, you will be well alone. You won't be in need of someone else. But when someone comes, you will be able to choose this person well, that they may add and not just feel a gap that is in you. And then the tendency is to make a wrong choice and to put anyone there and a third divorce happen. Most probably what you need to do now is to give some time for yourself. You are following our programs, then come to the love therapy. Come to learn to heal yourself from these traumas caused by past relationships and learn to be well and happy alone. And the sooner you do this, the faster you will be ready for a new relationship and not to make another mistake. This is our advice to you, student. Now, the singles, as she is, whether divorced, more experienced or younger ones. You are always learning in the love therapy seminars. And the single who hasn't read yet the manual of the 21st century for singles, you who haven't read the book Bulletproof Dating, read it. Because there's even a chapter here that speaks to the divorcees and widows. There's a chapter here, dating after divorce, someone becoming a widow or a long relationship. So you can learn with the book Bulletproof Dating everything you need to prepare yourself and to not make a mistake when you join a new relationship without unexpected surprises. Namoroblindado.com, you can order it online and receive it at home or you can visit the best bookstores. If today's video helped you and you know someone that could benefit from it, share it with them and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you may do so now. See you later.